Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good, good. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, ready? 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 Yeah. out there so it's kind of light didn't have to try that hard so you know Gunther, could you put your feet down I ain't Tyreek obviously a tough loss tonight how do you think you'll bounce back from this defeat can I have that what's the magic word please um regarding him uh what's the question again sorry I that was a tough loss tonight how do you think you'll bounce back um I mean, I think the only way to bounce back from something like this is to go for the title back. I mean, he stripped it. Listen, he's a nuisance. I mean, he stripped it from me. I, my, I mean, I would hope I could get it back. Um, if the time is right and it, I mean, lets it happen, then I'll go back for the title. I'll fight him again. I'll call him back out. But right now, I mean, I put the offer up, and if he wants to take it, that's perfectly fine. But we'll leave it at that for now. Going back to Gunther, going into this fight today, what was your mindset and how did you prepare to win? I didn't really have to prepare, really. It was kind of just, I just had to go out there and do me, you know? Just, it was really that easy. Tariq, what do you think you could have done differently to prepare for the fight? You want this back? You want it? Yeah, like it yeah, you want it back? Like it. Sorry, if you ask again, I just can't with this kid behind me. I don't understand what's going on. What do you on. think you could have done differently to prepare for the fight? Um, definitely, when I was talking to my coach before and stuff, and talking to him a little bit after before we got in here, um, you know, we mentioned that we think I tried to tank too many shots. You know, I mean, obviously Gunther's bigger, stronger than me, got a longer reach, and I was trying to be all smart and try to play like the stamina game, but my body can't handle that, and I should have known that. So that's one thing for sure. And the other one is I gotta. I gotta make sure I close gaps because with his reach, I mean, if I stay far away, he's gonna hit me and I won't be able to hit him. So I gotta make sure I get him closer next time if we if we get this fight again, which I would like to fight him again for this title. Um, make sure to get him a little bit closer, try to get up into his body. I feel like I went too much for like kill shots and wasting my energy instead of keeping it nice and easy and everything. And yeah, I just feel like I, I could have done a good, good amount of stuff differently than what I was doing tonight. All right, that's all I have for you, and we hope to see another rivalry fight between you guys. Um, actually, before you guys uh, cut us off here, I want to say that I am going to call Gunther back out. Um, I feel like he won't be a piece of cake this next fight, and I know he'll accept it because I know he wants to think that he can defend the title like that easy. But I do know if I learn his mechanics and I figure it all out, it will not be. I won't lose. It won't be hard either. I think it'll be fairly simple. So that's how I feel about this fight. So I call him out. All right, Chris, what'd you call me in for today? So I want to talk about how the fight didn't go as we expected. Um, you know, you just didn't play, didn't fight right. Uh, you just let him get you. You didn't fight at your pace. Just took too many shots. We just got a lot to work on. We have a lot to prepare for the big fight against Gunther coming up. We just got to put more work in. You can't let him control a little bit too much. Yes, you, you got control. Yeah, you definitely did. Um, we just got to fight our fight. You know what to do. You're better than him. Mm -hmm. Just gotta get ready for round two. All right. Time to work. Let's go. <laughs>
we got going on right now? Why are you bring me up here? First, let's stop kidding around. We got some bag work. Let's go. How do you want me throwing these punches, coach? Let's do some combos. Anything you can think of. Coach, I'm tired, man. Let's keep going. Keep going. Come on. What's up, man? What's been going on? Uh, I've just been living life, man. Just relaxing, winning fights, you know. It's been pretty easy. Have you been having any issues? No, I've been good, man. Just... Not at all? No. My last guy, did you watch my fight? Did you watch him? I did not. It was light. It was so easy. I, I heard about it in the papers. Oh, yeah. It was really easy. Hey. What was the guy's name? I don't, I don't know. It was that easy. I don't know. Has there been any troubles at all? No, I've been Not great. Me. I've been great. It's good. Look at my new chain. I just got it. How much was it? I don't know. I had my assistant buy it for me. Is your assistant doing well? <laughs> Have a seat. You're a little early, but that's all right. All right. Um, I'm gonna get a water. Do you need one? Uh, yeah, I'll take a water. I got that. <coughs> sickness coming on. I'm. Is this something not you need to speak of? No, it's not even like sickness. It's just allergies when it's you know seasons changing and all that stuff. Pollen. I mean, are you staying hydrated during your fights? Yeah. Even during your training? Hmm? During your training as well? Uh, kind of not all the time. You need to make sure that it's a big thing and it's a lot of energy. I will. I got into it. Have you been having any issues? Not at recent. I mean, I got I got some family stuff going on. I've talked to you about that before, but besides that, not really. No. Anything new at all? Mm. Other than the fight. Uh, my mom has been in the hospital a little bit more now ever since the cancer and stuff. I mean, she's out every once in a while, but she's been getting <clears throat> going there a lot more. So. Any good news at all? Um, not that. No, I mean, just same, same old, same old. Yeah. Well, at least it's not gotten worse. Um. What was going on with that fight? And what aspect? As in, like, what was going on with you during the fight? Um, during, I mean, I was, I was, I had stuff going through my head before the fight, and then. So during, would you say it was more your mental instability versus how you physically felt? Yes, for sure. Uh, is that due to your mother? Uh, partially, possible. yeah, for sure. Have you thought of any ways that you can distract yourself? Um, I mean, I thought boxing would do it for me, but... I mean, there's plenty of other things for boxing. Because boxing is what you want to go into. you got to make sure you have something to distract yourself from your objective. <clears throat> so is there anything at all that you have found that helps you focus away from everything that's been going on? Um, well, I thought boxing would do it for me, but... That obviously has not been, I mean, I still love doing it, but it used to take clear my mind all the time when I was younger and growing up, but now as stuff's gotten more severe, it's not really as helpful as I thought it would be. So you have nothing? Not point. really, no. I don't know what else to try. Um, well, for me, I usually look at some books, as you see, mm -hmm. there's some more over there. Um, what do you like to learn about? What do you like to read about? I mean, I like... I like a lot of like, uh, I like 
I mean, I used to like comics and superheroes growing up, so I put it like almost two dollars now. I said that would have helped me. Not but entirely, if it distracts you from your objective and everything beyond that, such as your mother, mm -hmm. those things can be used in a great way. There's also other things, physical activities. Of course, you're already doing your boxing, but you do other things, running, even walking. Mm -hmm. These things are very beneficial to your mind and keep you healthy. Mm -hmm. Is there any games that you feel really distract you from everything? Well, I mean, it would depend, because like when I was younger, I mean, I wasn't obviously, I didn't feel how I did. I don't feel how I do now back then, but like, depending on my mood, depending on what I play. So like, I mean, when I was younger, arcade games were still pretty, I mean, they're on like the downfall of their still kind of a thing. So like, I used to like, go to the arcade downtown with a bunch of friends and like, if we wanted to be like competitive, we play like um, Tron Legacy, the racing and stuff. But like, by myself now, I'm not able to as much, but like. Have you I, met anybody online or any friends that you have currently that want to play with you? Does that help distract you having socialization with these people? Um, I mean, I would assume, I mean, I guess that would make sense, but I feel like for a most, lot of the times- For most of my patients, some of them younger, such as yourself, they, they find a way to enjoy playing with these people, whether it's their friends or even just strangers online, and it really helps them focus away from everything in their life. Do you think that would work for you? Uh, I mean, I would-, I, would I mean, has it worked so far? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I were to give it a go, like, more than what I had been, probably, yeah, but most of the time when I'm playing, I'm playing by myself, so I don't really get that socialization, but I could definitely try that. Yeah, definitely try that. That might help you. And it, there's also physical activities you can do, running or walking. I mean, you already do uh, boxing, yeah. but is there anything else that you think could benefit you at all? Um... Running, walking. I feel like I feel like finding a way to get like um, get get privacy, not in the sense where I'm all alone all the time, but maybe like I could find some ways to like be able to space out from other people. I know like when I was younger, my dad used to take me like to go watch like a sunset. Um, no, that's all I got for today. I got nothing to have, uh, nothing to say. Uh, thank you for today. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, based on everything you. Been claiming you just need something to distract yourself, and I think those things, if you focus well enough on those, will give you exactly what you need. Um, that's all I really have for now. Is there anything that you would need to add, or any questions? Nothing else. All right. Thank you for your day, sir. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course.
welcome, Gunther and Tyreek. How's everybody's day been? I've uh, been pretty good so far. It's gonna be better later when our kids saw it all. How did you guys prepare for this upcoming battle? Um, I mean, can I go first? <laughs> no. All right. <clears throat> I didn't really have to prepare for this fight. I mean, it was easy last time. He's not really much competition anyway, so it's gonna be another light match and we'll have to see how it goes, but we already know the outcome anyway. How do you feel about this, Tyreek? Say the mic again. Say it again. Hold on. Say it again. Bro, just give me the mic. Please. There you go. Um, I feel a lot more confident than I did last time. Um, I worked on, I mean, I did basic things to prepare for this. I mean, I know last time was a struggle. I want the. I like my middleweight title back. I think it'd be lovely. Um, I'm actually feeling so confident in myself that I actually have written a contract. I have put a million dollars on myself for this for this fight. And if I win this fight, uh, all this money that I will be earning uh, will go to charity. So if Gunther agrees to sign it over here, then that'll be the deal. That's how confident I feel in myself. So it's all you if you want to sign that. White Millie. Um, so, that, I think that proves how, how confident I'm feeling in myself for this fight. So, would you say you're, well, mentally and physically prepared for this fight? Um, yeah, I've done a lot of training. I've done a lot of cardio stuff, improving my stamina up. Uh, ment mental health-wise, uh, I'm definitely, definitely feeling a lot better than I did the first fight. Um, things I got going on, I got some help and stuff, and I was able to clear my mind. So, now it's just focused on me and the fight. Me versus Gunther, I think it'll be, I think it'll be perfect. I think I'm feeling good. Gunther, what have you done? Have you done much to prepare for this battle or? Not really, I didn't really have to prepare. Just did me, you know? I didn't really have to do much for this fight. You have a new chance? Let's go. I got that same one from last time. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. You wanna answer his question? You, you I have my old one if you want. You wanna answer his question? About I just did, I just answered. Do you wanna put, okay. Thank you, Gunther and Tyreek, for coming out here. Everybody who's watching, you're going to be in for quite a battle. So, you ready for the fight tonight? I know yeah. we've uh, done a lot of training and really prepared for this. We put a lot of money on it. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got pretty much everything that could distract me out of the way, out of my mind. I can put my mind pretty well, so I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. We gotta, we gotta win this one. You know, we gotta show off for the fans, really show off your mom for the last time, and you know, you gotta make a statement. Make it a good one. I think we'll be good. We've trained a lot, and I think you're ready. I think so too. I think, I think, I think that will be a win. I know our training hasn't been the best for this upcoming fight, but do you think you're ready? I feel great. He's gonna be light. I don't need to do this. I don't Are you sure? To, I don't even need to train. You sure? I'm fine. I feel perfect. And in the black corner, Hunter Wolfgang! In the red corner, Tyreek Johnson!
Everybody out here, there's something that I do want to say. Um, um, as you guys know, I did put you know a contract on the line with uh, <clears throat> Dumpy over here, and the dollar, the money that we'll be winning, the two million that we'll be winning to go put one million up, uh, will be going to charity, uh, mental health institutes. Uh, you know, this fight for my mom, really dedicated to her, and uh, with all that's been going on, I had some struggle myself with that, some mental health. So the money is going to be in a good place, going to a good cause, and. I'm gonna have to say, but this is gonna be my last fight. I got the title back and I got nothing else to fight for. Thank you. Welcome back, Tyreek and Gunther. That was quite the battle, especially on Tyreek's part. What did you guys do? How did you guys do this? Or specifically, Tyreek? Do you wanna go first this time, buddy? Huh? Huh? I thought. So. Um, you know, coming out as a victor, uh, should have been like that the first time, but I didn't prepare well enough. But this time around, um, like I said before, my coach and I, we did a lot of stamina work. Um, I didn't mention this, but we did a lot of basic, basic uh, fighting things, you know, working on my punches, my movement, uh, staying light on my feet. But that's an issue I had the first time. We talked about me not trying to tank punches this time, um, play distance. He has, uh, Gunther has a longer reach than me, but make sure to play around it, get up close when I was able to. And in the end, that's what I think brought me on top. Uh, my coach and I did a lot of work, and I feel like I feel like that's how I was able to win tonight. Um, I didn't mention this, but as many people know, my mom is going through some things, so I had a little bit of a edge to me. I wanted to win this for her. I don't know how much time she's gonna have uh, left here, so I figured if I could get one more win for her, that should be the one I'd want to get. So, you wanna explain now? Make sure I don't prepare at all. Um, I don't really know what happened during that fight. Must have been a luck thing on his part, but maybe in the future we'll set something else up. But 
that's all for now. I don't really have much to say right now, so yeah. Take this one. This one, do you head out for me? Uh, well, thanks for coming out, everybody, including the viewers and watching this great battle. There might be more in the future, but we'll just have to wait to see what the Gunther thinks. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> you just give me like some like you guess ways to cope with this. Masturbation. <laughs> we can't use that. Out here. Come on, focus on it!